so dear friends uh, due to menace of fast spreading coronavirus throughout the country as you all are aware that our prime minister has announced uh, voluntary curfew for 21 days let us all be part of this curfew which will i think tremendously add strength to fight against this uh, corona menace um, the next how we can utilize this period so for that i have designed a new course on how to write a scientific research paper as uh, this course has been uh, this course has uh, designed for the msc sam four student who have already completed their dissertation work and uh, they have obtained their result data and they are in the phase of writing the research paper this course will help them how to write their thesis or dissertation report so beside this uh, pg student this course will also helpful for those who had uh, just started their research career in the research field or they are new entrant in the research field uh, to all of them i want to clear that why to publish is so much important here are the different answers for that to share your research finding and your opinions with the scientific community the publications are the only way moreover if you publish more good research paper then there is more chances of getting funding from different funding agencies uh, for your career advancement publications are very must and required and for all the new entrant in a phd program uh, as per the direct directives of the ugc there are there should be minimum two peer reviewed papers uh, which are essentially required for award of phd degree moreover for your self satisfaction and recognition publication is a best way for a researcher now what the preparation are required before writing a research paper um there are few topics which i have mentioned in this slide like first of all we have to identify the topic then we have to design our study then in which journal we are going to publish our uh, research finding that should be cleared how to select a specific journal that is also very much required and uh, last but not least what are the ethical issues which we should follow while doing the research and while publishing the research findings so coming to the first that how to identify a good topics that is very much important so i suggest that uh, we should not stick to our uh, area of research in a particular domain rather we should try to communicate with uh, with all other interdisciplinary workers researcher who are working on different disciplines so generally interdisciplinary work uh, get published very soon and uh, very quickly and it has more impact than uh, traditional work for that we can consult with different uh, faculties of different domains like chemistry biochemistry microbiology people can talk with the biotechnology or botany or zoology people or uh, vice versa the engineering people can also take help of uh, um, microbiology or biochemistry people so interdisciplinary work is always appreciated moreover we should uh, focus on some unexplained findings rather than to doing rather than to do a, a traditional research uh, unexplained findings should be given the preference similarly we we need to uh, do a, a lot literature survey so more if we go through more uh, papers or research articles then we get more ideas more novel ideas so what i suggest to the students that make a habit of reading at least one new research paper in a week and for that uh, what i do i i have uh, registered with a, some uh, good quality journals like acta and uh, 
uh, stranger journals so once when you get registered with this journal these journals send you the table of content of their journal and then uh, when this uh, issue next issue fresh issue of these journals uh, is in air so you get a table of content so through that table of content you can find the good research articles moreover you can attend at least one or two international conferences of uh, good repute uh, you can get a chance to meet with the stalwart of the field of stalwart of the different fields and you can put your queries and, and that definitely will help you to design a good topic or to identify a good topic on which you can do work okay come to the research design uh, you can develop a research hypothesis and question uh, work on appropriate methods or protocol if the protocol has uh, not already standardized then do standardization of that protocol if it is required ensure that the sample size is enough because uh, for publication statistical statistical test is essentially required so use of appropriate statistical test and tools is uh, very much essential and you should do it before communicate before communication of your manuscript uh, moreover we have to follow certain cited scientific ethics so what do a journal editor wants so you know a journal, uh, journal editor are generally very busy and usually have to make an initial decision on the acceptance or rejection of your manuscript. So when first faced with the manuscript, they usually look at the cover letter, the abstract, the conclusion and the references. They use this to judge whether the submission is in the scope of the journal and of uh, sufficient impact or not. So your submission is more likely to be accepted if uh, it is within the scope of the journal. You know, if, you are, if the journal is uh, more focusing on the papers which are uh, related to environmental science and you are submitting the papers which are of some um, chemical science, then obviously the journal will not accept. Second thing, uh, your work should be novel and describe research that advance the field. Okay. Similarly, uh, your research add to an active research field. It should not be very classical and uh, classical type of research. Uh, if your work is carefully prepared and formatted with all the required sections which is present, then there is more chances of acceptance of your paper. So, moreover, there should be very least grammatical mistakes and uh, language problem. So, moreover, you should follow certain ethical standards. So, the tip which I can give you at this point is, once you have written your manuscript, get, a, uh, get your friend to read it and provide feedback on how the manuscript flows. If necessary, rewrite your manuscript so it uh, reads well and grab the attention of the editor. So, through that way, you can attract the editor's eye. Then, uh, how, we uh, how to select an appropriate journal? So, first of all, make a list of the journals which are available. Determine the impact of journal. The impact of journal means the reputation of a journal is not necessarily based on a metric such as the impact factor but on the aspects such as the professionalism of the editorial team, the journal's audience and rich and research field. So find out that your work belongs to which area and in that area which journal is considered best or what are the other journals which can accept and uh, publish your work. Make sure that the journal scope and policies match your needs. Check the journal requirements and distributions. Collect more information about the journal's peer review process that all the informations are available on the homepage of this journal.
check the instruction for authors thoroughly check it two times avoid the predatory journals visit the ugc list of approved journal ugc has provided a list of the fake journals and predatory journals so always publish your journal uh, publish your paper in some good quality journals there are certain journal finder tools which are also available and they may help you to find the journals like journal suggester from the springer journal finder of elseviers okay so these are the few uh, websites through which you can they ask for some uh, keywords and then they suggest you a list of the journal which can be suitable for publication of your paper many a times there are certain other factors which may vary for one to another individuals like at uh, some point some uh, researcher wind, wants their publications very quickly so publication frequency of all the journals vary some journal publish it quickly some sometimes a journal may take it six month or more time for publication likewise impact factor of different journals varies target audience for the different journal varies uh, every journal has a different rejection rate many a journals um, generally reject uh, 50% of the all received manuscript um, lead time may also vary likewise the journal is open access open uh, access or subscriber that also vary prior publications or publication fees these are the factors which may vary for one individual to another individual and how do these related to your publication requirement that you have to check and and on the basis of that finally uh, reach out to one or two journals which suit for publication of your work similarly there are certain uh, ethics which we need to follow unethical behavior could lead to the rejection and a possible ban from a target journal please keep this in your mind like mostly the workers do the researcher do that multiple submission at the same time this is really very much not required Submission, submission at the same time is completely unethical redundant publication is also unethical plagiarism data fabrication and falsification repetition of the previous published work uh, own or someone else in a different language or format these all are the unethical practices which we should avoid we should never do it improper use of the human subject and animals in research improper author contribution these all ethical issues which we should follow there are certain ethical rules which we should follow for um, publication of our work uh, so students when it comes to writing a research manuscript as uh, most of us are aware that a manuscript is uh, having the following titles like the title of the manuscript the abstract of your manuscript the keywords uh, then comes the main text or main body of your manuscript uh, that flow in the following way like introduction then materials and methods then result and discussion uh, beside this there are certain other important side headings like the acknowledgement uh, references and uh, other supplementary materials so as uh, the title abstract and the keyword these three are very important part of your manuscript because uh, uh, these titles the abstract and keywords make the easy indexing and searching of your uh, research or manuscript on the internet or www so your title and abstract should be very informative uh, very nicely written and attractive and very effective similarly the main text uh, that is introduction materials methods result 
etc. should be written very briefly and very precisely because you know that the space available in the journal is very important for the editors so make your article as brief as possible so as I have written here if clarity can be achieved in n words then we should never use n plus one word n plus one not a single word more than one single word should be used uh, similarly the acknowledgement reference and supplementary material uh, all these we should follow the instruction written in the uh, instruction to author for uh, the journal guideline of the journal uh, because it is irritating for the editor and the reviewers to indicate you the, um, the follow the instruction of journal generally these all things are already um, there in the instruction and we make some mistakes so despite it is already there in the instruction to author so we should keep it in our mind now how to organize uh, your manuscript what is the right way to write or to order to organize your paper so my suggestion is while writing a manuscript first of all prepare the tables and the figures the result of your paper then you should write the materials and methods this part you can write while doing your research after completion of your practical part you should start with writing discussion first then you should write the conclusion then you should write the introduction and finally the abstract and title should be written so this discussion part and the rest of the things should be written at the end and this should be written after selecting a target journal because uh, the way of writing discussion conclusion may vary from one journal to another so these things should be written at the last especially reference are also the reference style for the different journals are generally different so that should all the part should also be written in the at the end <clears throat> 